All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for joining us. If we could ask you all to please take your seats and bring the chambers to order, please. All right, Laura Cooperman, come on up. And Hi. Um, I'm a resident in the Santa Thousand Oaks neighborhood where Bambi Larson was murdered. I'm here today to ask our county board of supervisors to make immediate changes in the sanctuary policies currently in place that prohibit local law enforcement from reporting and detaining dangerous undocumented criminals. The current policy of refusal to honor ICE detainers request for violent undocumented criminals is wrong and has cost one of our neighbors her life. Please support our police in, um, in this effort and protect our citizens. Thank you. Thank you. Jennifer Roberts and Sam Ho. I am here today to express my outrage over the county's current sanctuary policies. I live in the Thousand Oaks neighborhood of San Jose where our beloved neighbor and friend Bambi Larson was brutally murdered inside her own home. I am outraged that the suspected murderer, an undocumented immigrant and self-proclaimed gang member with a long violent history was allowed to walk the streets and do what he is suspected of doing to Bambi. I find it disturbing that federal immigration authorities submitted numerous detainer notices for the suspect that were ignored. Worst of all, I recently learned that Homeland Security had planned to deport the suspected murderer in October 2018, but the county did not honor federal official detainer notice due to county policy. The county of Santa Clara failed us and worst of all, failed Bambi. The county's current sanctuary policies that protect serious offenders and violent predators must end immediately. Please don't let Bambi's untimely senseless death be in vain. Please reevaluate re re your problem. Please never let this happen again. Thanks. Thank you. My name is Misty Batch. I've been a trauma therapist here in San Jose for 20 years working extensively with victims of crime. I understand the intention of the policy 3.54, but by sustaining it, we are no longer helping our undocumented community by allowing this to continue. The majority of the undocumented individuals I have spoken to say this policy is not good for them. They do not want these violent individuals to stay in the United States and live in their neighborhoods either. They do not want these violent felons making bad examples of their community. They are struggling as it is with the political climate and stories like these of what happened with Bambri Larson do not help their cause. If we really want to protect the undocumented here in Santa Clara County, we have to take undocumented violent felonists off of our streets. This open-ended policy in the name of compassion is helping no one but violent criminals. Um, I'm a neighbor of Bambi Larson's. Um, she's lived in my neighborhood 20 years. I've lived there 40. I've passed her many times in the park behind my home, walking her dog. Um, Bambi Larson was a lot more than scared when she was being brutally attacked. You have created communities that protect illegal immigrants from fearing the law while causing its own citizens to fear the law and their own due process. You don't track legals, but you track the citizens. These laws were in place before Sanctuary City got its frosting put on it. Illegal immigrants, not law-abiding ones, that have committed crimes have been protected. None of us understand that. There's no reason for it. But if any one of us were to commit that crime, we'd be behind bars. I have printed out, and I don't know which one of you want it. I don't care who gets it. But I want you to read threads of how this man was in our neighborhoods back in Thank October. Thank you for your comments. And Mr. And Wasserman, you, I know you personally. Ma'am, please stop. 